Hello and welcome to our webinar on Active Voltage Conditioning for Critical Applications. I'm Adam Koshel, Power Protection Business Manager at ABB, and I'm joined by my colleagues, Justin Lucas, Power Protection Product Manager, and Tamash Sabo, Power Protection Sales Manager. Together, we'll explore the innovative solutions that ABB Power Protection offers for ensuring stable power in critical applications. First up, let's discuss ABB's power protection and its significance in critical applications. ABB Power Protection has an extensive global presence with 900 employees across 20 countries. Our research and development centres in Switzerland, New Zealand and the US, along with the production facilities in multiple countries, enable us to provide cutting edge solutions worldwide. Our business offerings encompass a wide range, including commercial and industrial UPS, power conditioning products, static transfer switching, and power distribution. We adopt a multi-channeled approach, collaborating with OEMs, system integrators, EPCs, distributors, and more. Now let's delve into the heart of our innovation, the ABB Power Conditioning Centre of Excellence in Napier, New Zealand. It's the third and final facility in our power protection portfolio serving as a crucial hub for research and development. This facility plays a pivotal role offering multiple operations and research and development test cells for power conditioning and energy storage systems. What sets Napier apart is its unique testing capabilities from low voltage starting at 200 volts to medium voltage reaching up to 22 kilovolts. The Napier facility has large capacity load banks, VRLA and lithium ion battery banks, as well as our SAG generator, enabling us to simulate various power quality events, including SAG and surges, enabling our high power product portfolio to be put through its paces inside a world-class R&D test facility. I now invite you to get a closer look at our Napier Power Conditioning Center of Excellence through this short video. This is a power conditioner made by our team here at ABB. You might ask, what is a power conditioner? Power from the grid isn't always stable. Outages and voltage sags can cause equipment to malfunction, resulting in lost production and even equipment damage. This is an issue for modern factories or anything that relies on uninterrupted power. Our power conditioners create a stable, clean supply of power, free of outages and sags. With more people on the planet, there are bigger factories, more machinery, more automation, more need for our innovative mindset. We challenge the status quo to help factories around the world safely and efficiently create the things that surround us every day. From mobile phones to fast cars. From microchips to super yachts. From bottles to beverages from research labs to stadiums. From a startup company with a dream to a purpose-built, state-of-the-art ABB factory. So, how do we do what we do? We are curious, always believing that is a better way. We care about our customers, our people, and the environment. We collaborate to get the best results for our customers. We have courage to take action and speak up. We are researchers and designers. We are organizers and prioritizers. We are assemblers. We are problem solvers. We are engineers. We are testers. We are dispatchers. We are one team making the world a better, more sustainable, more efficient place to live. Let's write the future of safe, smart, sustainable electrification together. Power conditioning involves the design and manufacturing of products such as industrial UPS, active voltage conditioners or AVCs, static frequency converters, SFCs, and our energy storage systems, ESS. These solutions find applications in 24-7 operations and critical processes across industries like data center, food and beverage, semiconductor manufacturing, water treatment, pharmaceutical, and much more. Moving on to our second topic, Justin will delve into the specifics of power conditioning with a focus on ABB's PCS100 AVC40. Thanks, Adam. 
Let me start by identifying a few common power quality events. Voltage sags are temporary drops below nominal voltage, usually lasting two to 10 cycles. External sources like lightning and internal factors such as high current demand can trigger sags. Voltage swells, on the other hand, involve an increase in RMS voltage above the nominal, lasting from half a cycle to several seconds, caused by switching off of large loads or capacitor bank energization. Voltage imbalance reflects phase voltage differences in three phase systems, harming motor performance. Understanding these events is vital for selecting appropriate solutions. Voltage sags are defined by their depth and duration. Understanding these values is essential for selecting the appropriate solution. Faults in the transmission network are the most disruptive. As industries become more automated, the sensitivity to power quality events increases. Even short events can lead to unexpected stops in processes, resulting in product damage, wastage, and production shortages. SAGs represent approximately 92% of all power quality issues. Faults, large loads, supply system problems, customer installation and distribution issues can all contribute to the overall impact on business operations. Now we've identified some PQ challenges, let me introduce the solution, the PCS100 AVC40. Specifically designed for industrial loads, it requires no energy storage, features internal bypass protection and super fast stepless voltage regulation. With a remarkable 99% efficiency, this solution targets voltage sag events while providing effective protection against swells. The ABB PCS100 AVC40 is a modular converter-based system offering fast, accurate voltage sag and surge correction, continuous voltage regulation, and load voltage compensation, designed to protect sensitive industrial and commercial loads. Utilities continuously strive to provide the most reliable and consistent power possible. However, in the course of normal utility operation, various factors can cause voltage sags. From the accompanying graphic, you can observe the depth and duration of a sag event affecting equipment at different stages. Utilities continuously strive to provide the most reliable and consistent power possible. However, in the course of the normal utility operation, Various factors can cause voltage sags. From the accompanying graphic, you can observe the depth and duration of a sag event affecting equipment at different stages. The AVC40 offers continuous voltage regulation plus or minus 10%, correcting three phase balanced utility sags from 60% remaining voltage to 100% for up to 30 seconds. The AVC's performance in relation to single phase utility sags is impressive, correcting from 40% remaining to 100% for up to 30 seconds. Additionally, it addresses phase angle errors and corrects utility supply imbalances. The PCS100 AVC40 consists of two converters that are not on the current path between the load and the utility. Instead, the corrective voltage injection is achieved by means of a transformer winding between the utility and the sensitive load. This efficient method draws correction energy from the utility via the PCS100 AVC40 rectifier, minimizing negative impacts on the load. During normal utility conditions, the PCS100 AVC40 makes small corrections for voltage unbalance or load-induced variations. It operates without batteries, obtaining additional energy required during SAGs directly from the utility. Featuring an internal fail-safe bypass, the PCS100 AVC40 safeguards against AVC failures and AVC versus load failures, such as an overload or inrush. In the event of an overload or internal fault, the internal bypass ensures uninterrupted utility supply to the load. In summary, even in the case of an AVC failure, the load remains connected to the utility, minimizing the risk of a load drop. The worst case scenario involves exposing the load to the utility events. Depicted in the next two graphics are the measurements or readings obtained during a SAG event. 
In the first, you can see the voltage and current relationship. In the second, you can see the phase angle correction. Transitioning to our third topic, Adam will guide us through the installation and maintenance aspects of ABB's PCS100 AVC40. Over to you, Adam. Thank you, Justin. When it comes to maintenance, we highly recommend the installation of an external maintenance bypass switch. This ensures seamless servicing of the AVC without interruption to the power flow. To perform maintenance, you have two options. You can wait for a normal process shutdown to service the AVC, as any service of the AVC will require isolation and disconnection from the load to the supply. Alternatively, you can install the maintenance bypass wrapped around the AVC. In this case, you can isolate the AVC and service it while keeping the power flow from the supply to the load via the external maintenance bypass. The PCS100 AVC40 boasts an expected service life of 20 plus years following a well-structured life cycle replacement regime. ABB's life cycle management model maximizes equipment value, eliminating unplanned repair costs and extending system lifetime. Depending on the site or application, the PCS100 ABC40 can be installed to protect the entire site or individual critical loads. Retrofit applications addressing specific critical components are common scenarios that ABB Power Protection Team assists our valued customers with. Now let's welcome Tamash, who will compare ABB's PCS100 ABC40 with a double conversion UPS for dynamic or electromechanical applications and industrial plant rooms. Sizing of the power electronic equipment is crucial. The PCS100 AVC40 features an injection transformer that allows precise sizing for the supported load. In contrast, sizing a double conversion UPS for similar applications may require 1.5 to two times or more of the load capacity. Depicted in the graphic is the difference in total cost of ownership for supporting a 300 kVA industrial load. The two gray lines represent a double conversion UPS with a five minute VRLA battery. The light gray line represents an oversized double conversion UPS. In many cases, the comparison is moot as the double conversion UPS is not suitable for the load. Therefore, depending on the application, types of power quality events and critical loads being addressed, the PCS100 AVC40 may be more suitable and more efficient with less ongoing maintenance and operational costs. If you don't need batteries, there is no need to consider equipment that requires them. Now let's delve into where the PCS100 Active Voltage Conditioner AVC40 stands in addressing site voltage disturbances. As demonstrated on this plot, its protection capabilities envelope is truly impressive when compared to other technologies, making it a robust choice for facility operators. Let's hear from Peter Williams, Controls Manager at Fonterra, about the success of the AVC as a power protection solution. When the global dairy manufacturer Fonterra needed a power protection solution for its Takanini facility in Auckland, New Zealand, ABB were able to provide a solution that would improve the power quality. Fonterra Brands are part of Fonterra Cooperative Group and we are the part of the business that makes consumer goods, the things you'll find on supermarket shelves. We turn over about a billion dollars a year, it is in about over 100 countries globally, with around 16,000 employees. Around about 1,000 people work for our business, most of us based here at Takanini, which is our largest site. Globally, Fonterra produces over 22 billion litres of milk each year. The facility in Auckland produces a number of products for some of New Zealand's best loved brands. So the background to the project was that uh, we process a large amount of UHT milk and that requires us to maintain a high level of sterility in the plant. Whenever we have a power event, which is often triggered by events outside our site, we lose that sterility to the machine. Our automation systems pick up on a power glitch and therefore assume the plant to be non-sterile. It means that we have to then re-clean or CIP, then go to a sterilisation step and then we can start making product. So this takes us around about four hours. An event like this across seven lines costs us around about 28 hours of downtime, around $50,000 in actual cost to our business. And this would typically happen to us two, three or four times a year. 
due to the expanding and upgrading the UHT processing and packaging facilities to help meet the significant growth occurring in the global UHT market, the facility now draws between 30 and 40 megawatts of power. This is mainly drawn by the large AC drives and motors used in the facility's production lines, which package more than 750,000 litres of fresh milk each day and can produce around 6.4 bottles per second. We would be looking to see yeah, savings in the region of you know half a million dollars a year. So we chose ABB's ABC because we have a good partnership with ABB globally within Fonterra and we have experience and a great deal of faith in their products. We were quite excited by its possibilities. We then went and did some due diligence, we saw some other customers, obviously decided then to implement that here. The PCS100 Active Voltage Conditioner, which is part of ABB's power protection portfolio, was able to eliminate voltage disturbances in Fonterra's facility, eliminating unwanted downtime and wasted milk product that would ultimately cause an on-flow effect to the food and beverage industry. Once we have this commissioned and running and over some time, we are looking at using this in other UHT sites just to guarantee that supply stability we need. Further benefits of the PCS100 AVC are the lowest total cost of ownership by requiring no energy storage and maintaining an operating efficiency of 99%. With a small footprint in design, the PCS100 AVC was able to fit into the small confined area of Fonterra's equipment room, making this an ideal solution for facilities that don't have large amounts of space for their power protection requirements. The mission is to become the world's most trusted source of dairy nutrition and ABB's product and our ABC unit is a crucial part of that process. ABB has an impressive library of case studies from many industries across the globe where real-time benefits have been witnessed. Even when the utility becomes unstable, critical loads and business operations continue seamlessly. Let's recap the key features of the ABB PCS100 Active Voltage Conditioner. The major differentiator is that the AVC requires no energy storage but deep sag and swell correction. With high overload capabilities, a shunt coupled injection transformer providing line impedance, this equipment is suitable for dynamic electromechanical process loads. ABB's PCS100 AVC40 also operates at an industry leading 99% efficiency. Today's presentation has demonstrated the diverse applications for ABB's PCS100 active voltage conditioner. Whether installed to protect a specific sensitive load from grid disturbances, supporting large dynamic equipment with a stable voltage source, or conditioning power to an entire facility, the PCS100 AVC40 provides an ultra-efficient solution to mitigating risks of equipment damage, production losses, and eliminating costly business impacts due to voltage sag events. What is each supply anomaly costing your business operations? The calculations for a business case are straightforward. With low initial deployment costs and minimal operational costs due to the true industrial design of the AVC, a fast return on investment is certain. Contact our specialists at ABB for a power quality analysis and let us help you develop the right solution for delivering business certainty. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes our presentation on active voltage conditioning for critical applications. On behalf of ABB Power Protection Australia, we appreciate your time and engagement. Thank you for joining us in exploring the advancements in active voltage conditioning.